you are welcome to open therapy open therapy of open psychology today we shall be looking at learning disability learning disability is a situation whereby a child that is learning is struggling to catch up with the learning this learning disability might involve difficulties in reading difficulties in writing difficulty in following instruction difficulties in solving mathematical and arithmetic problem it might be difficulties in following instructions it might be difficulties in being focused on the study or it might be difficulties in recalling in memory or it could be difficulties in motor skills now a child can have one of this thing i've mentioned or combination of it so once a child is struggling in school a parent an educator should pay attention and try to look at it over a period and in different study environment for a parent a parent should pay attention to a child developmental milestone when a child starts crawling when a child starts walking and when a child starts talking this can help the parent to follow up so once a child begins study in school the parents have to be observant to make sure that this child's studying space is appropriate to his intellectual capacity and to his peer once a child is falling behind a parent need to quickly seek for help because that might be an indication that this child is struggling in one area as i've mentioned the area of struggling might be in reading it might be in writing it might be in arithmetic it might be in following instructions that were given or in recalling things that were taught and it could be in learning that involve motor skills once a parent is aware of this such a parent need to seek help from those that are qualified to give help which will involve multidisciplinary setup a clinical psychologist will be involved uh, an educator will be involved and in some cases speech therapist might be involved so depending on which learning disability this child is suffering or struggling with i want to emphasize that detecting a child that is struggling with learning early is very essential early detection by parents or educator is very very important once that is done there might be need to develop independent education program for this child this might involve a child learning in different environments or combination of environment which might involve learning in school learning at home learning in play environment and it might involve combination of learning verbally learning by audiovisual combination of in-person tutor and tutorial guidance it might involve combination of auditory verbal audiovisual combination of different systems to help this child in detecting it the expert will have to evaluate the appropriate style the learning style that the child prefer and the combination of this solution will help the child to overcome it there is no need for parents or educator to give up on any child that have learning disability there are a whole lot of players globally that i'm talking of people that excel in their career and their chosen field that struggle with learning when they were in school so any child with learning disability can overcome it and can do well in school but there is need to learn how to manage it a style that is appropriate for that child that is struggling another very important thing is managing the emotion managing the body 
the parents will be boarding have challenge to put more time to help this child to learn at the level that is appropriate to his class that is appropriate to his intellectual capacity so this might stress the parent this might stress the educator and this definitely will stress that child that is struggling to learn so knowing this we help us to prevent that situation where the child is being looked down upon or where this child is being harassed and embarrassed so there is need to know that a child that is struggling with learning can come out with a lot of inappropriate behavior especially around the study environment around school environment a child might go to sleep when it's time to study, when it's time to do homework, a child might just be angry and misbehaving when it's time to study or to do homework. A child might be withdrawn because that child is trying to use a mechanism to protect he or herself from facing the learning situation. So different behavior might come up, but the parents have to understand this educator have to understand it, that when this child is developing different form of behavior that is not appropriate when it's time to learn you just calmly know how to handle it in a way that that child will overcome the challenge and that child will be able to progress adequately now there's need to help the child to have good habits there is need to help the child to be able to speak out, to seek for help. There will be need to help the child to have appropriate diet, good sleep. That child needs to have good sleep. That child also needs to have skills to manage problems, to solve problems. That child also needs to know how to manage time. Now, the child will also have to spend extra hours to study and the child might have to spend some part of the time that I have to use to play with his or her peers to study in order to catch up. Remember when the child's studying level is not appropriate to the class or when the child's studying level is not appropriate to his age. This child might be struggling as I've said with reading. This child might be struggling with writing this child might be struggling with arithmetic and mathematics this child might be struggling with being focused paying attention for a certain period of time this child might be struggling with memory remembering or the child might be struggling following instruction once you notice this you know that this child needs to get help and getting help at the right time help that is appropriate that involve experts that can help to manage this situation will benefit the child as i've said a child that is struggling to learn can actually manage this system during the period the years where this child is going to study can learn how to manage it appropriately the parents have to also have healthy habits and they have to listen when this child is communicating his or her challenges. The educator too have to listen when this child is communicating his or her challenges. Now I want to say that if a child is struggling in class, struggling to learn, it might not be learning disability, it might be as a result of other stressors in the family, at home, in school environment or in other social environment. So it's good to trace, to be able to detect if this child struggling in learning skills is actually learning disability. And learning disability can be managed. Learning disability can be managed in a way that that child will be able to study and finish his or her study without much delay, without much hindrances. So a parent should not give up because a child is struggling with one learning skills or the other. Also, an educator should not give up 
on any child in his or her class that is struggling to learn or to catch up with the learning level that child ought to be. A whole number of combinations of things can lead to this learning disability, which I don't want to bother you with. And different learning disability have different names that used to identify it. That just for professional purpose. I won't want to bother you with that in this recording. But the important thing is that detect it earlier. A parent should observe a child when a child starts achieving developmental milestone. And when the child resumes school, that observation should continue to know if this child is learning at the appropriate level that it is appropriate to the class. And when this child is falling below, a parent needs to step in immediately to help the child to manage the first the emotional challenge and to develop independent education program for this child. Managing the emotion is very essential because this child might be bullied by other people, might be, em uh, might be embarrassed <coughs> by having to face challenge of catching up. And this child might struggle with a number of things at times people call them names that are not appropriate. But helping the child to be able to speak up, to be able to seek for help, to be able to manage the situation and to be able to manage the situation of being bullied or embarrassed because of his or her challenges in learning is very essential. The parents also have to develop resilience in managing these skills. The parent needs to develop skills to bear the body and to manage the stress. So the parents also need to manage their own emotional habits and also manage the way they react and respond to this child challenges. Why the child also need to manage his emotion to be able to withstand the problem, to be able to manage challenges in the environment, learning environment, the challenges in other areas that the child is going to be interacting with. This is very essential. But remember that a child that is struggling with reading skills, that is struggling with writing skills, a child that is struggling with arithmetic skills, mathematical skills, a child that is struggling with paying attention, appropriate attention, a child that is struggling with remembering information or what was taught, a child that is struggling with following instruction can have other behavior that is not appropriate, which might be a way of reacting or a way of covering up or a way of avoiding situation of that will require this child to come into carrying out the study activity. Parents should learn how to manage this. Educators should learn how to manage it and help that child to overcome that fear to overcome that problem and to overcome the uh, the challenges, the embarrassments, and for that child to have healthy lifestyle, the parents also need to have healthy lifestyle. This child needs to have enough sleep hours. This child needs to have healthy diet, and this child should learn how to manage stress. The parents also need to learn how to manage stress. This child needs to also develop skills, learn how to solve problems. Parents also need to learn, have skills, problem solving skills. They should also pay attention to this child explaining his or her challenges. Now, a combination of different methods, learning in different environments, learning with different methods, audiovisual, uh, in person. Uh, using uh, skills, pictures, charts, learning more hours, uh, chunk hour period of learning and all this combination and other things will be put in place for this child to learn, to catch up and for this child to even perform at the optimal level 
Inis or our area of studies. This is achievable. But early detection will help. Support of the family, the siblings, the parents is essential. Support of the educator, the school system is important for this child to be able to be useful, to be able to contribute meaningful to the society, to be able to play his or her role without any delay or hindrance. The next thing a parent need to do is to make sure that they encourage the child to have steps by step milestone and as the child is achieving one goal to move to the next level to move to the next one this child will be building confidence and we learn that since he's able to achieve this he or she can also move to the next level can move to the next level and if the child has learned to solve this problem and handle it appropriately learn how to remember and learn different studying style that might be the first place to start to have different learning style incorporated for this child to learn to learn how to study learning how to study learning how to recall memory this will help a child that is struggling with learning that have learning challenges either in writing either in reading either in arithmetic or the one that involves motor skills combinations of these challenges might manifest in a child and another child might just have one of this learning disability so whether a child have one learning disability or combinations of learning disability such a child can get appropriate help and overcome it as i've said a lot of prominent people that have achieved great acts on their career had at one time suffered learning disability but they were able to overcome it and be a global player in their chosen field so if your child is suffering from learning disability the child is not catching up appropriately with his age is not catching up with his peer or with the level of the class the child is don't give up don't molest that child don't transfer aggression on the child help that child to overcome it help the child to build the confidence that he or she can study he or she can perform well encourage the child to learn at school at home in play environment an educator also have to play a role so you have to learn to seek for help at the appropriate time seek for professional support and learn to speak out to request for what the child needs to learn under this individual education program that will be structured to be specific for the child some Children might benefit from already standardized individual education program and some might need a specific one tailored to fit their needs. So learning disability can be better managed for a child to be able to perform well at Optima and complete his or her study and for such child to be able to contribute to societal developmental milestones. So when you have a child that is struggling or a student that is struggling academically, provide help, provide support for such a child to learn how to manage the situation, to learn how to manage the emotional challenges that come with that learning disability. And the parent also need to know how to manage, help the child to manage and how to manage it because of the burden on them shares and this child can overcome that learning disability and perform well.